welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video hyperpigmentation now what is hyperpigmentation hyperpigmentation is scars spots blemishes you name it regardless of what kind of scars whether it is from a scrape or whether it is from acne scar whether it is spots is from pimples or just you know probably you get a slight scrape or burn whatever it is okay now today i have a wonderful remedy that's going to help to fade those dark spots and blemishes it's going to help to get rid of those acne scars it's going to get rid of all those scratches and scrape whatever it is that leave these marking on your body you're going to use this awesome treatment on it and before you know it it's going to fade and eventually disappear so if you're interested in this video continue on our first ingredient is a very common and a very popular ingredient which most people will have access to and this is a tomato I'm using a plum tomato however use whatever kind or type of tomato you have they all have the same properties tomato has nutrients and enzymes that will fade your spots in no time spots such as freckles acne scars regular scars you name it tomato will help to get rid of it when used on a regular second ingredient is aloe vera gel if you do not have the fresh aloe use the bottle aloe however fresh aloe is best now aloe vera is known to get rid of wrinkles from the skin aloe vera is also also cool into the skin aloe vera also is a great remedy for getting rid of spots and blemishes scars any form of a hyperpigmentation that you have on the skin now when I mix these two together it's gonna be even more effective in removing hyperpigmentation from your skin our final ingredient is turmeric powder and turmeric powder is also a wonderful ingredient that has been used for centuries for getting rid of hyperpigmentation this is gonna fade your scars it's gonna fade your acne scars it's gonna lighten and brighten the skin and it is also gonna help to get rid of all those unwanted hair on your body now for this recipe you're also gonna need some cotton pads for application or a piece of soft cloth now the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna prepare the tomato I'm only gonna use half of this tomato however you can go ahead and use a whole tomato because you can keep this mixture in your refrigerator for up to 10 days so I'm just gonna take a half of my tomato I'm gonna chop it in small pieces since I'm gonna be blending now if you do not have a blender at this stage you want to take your grater and you want to rub the tomato on the grater just to extract the juice from the tomato so now the tomato is chopped I'm gonna put that to the side reaching for my hollow and I'm gonna use about two ounces of the aloe vera so the first thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna extract the gel from the leaf and this is really a nice piece you can see now you want to make sure to find fresh aloe vera gel when you're looking for a leaf in your grocery store I get mine at the grocery store so most places you'll find it and the grocery store now you just want to cut the sides like this both sides and this is gonna make it easier to extract and as you can see the meat there and we're going under the upper skin like this pretty easy make sure you use a sharp enough knife and voila the first piece is off and there you could see so I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side go right under like this and this is pretty cool right look and here you have your aloe vera gel so I'm gonna clean up right here and then we're gonna come back and do some blending now for easier blending I'm gonna give the aloe a little chop also just to make it easier and that's good and now we're gonna put all of this in our blender and now we're gonna blend both the aloe and the tomato together 
Now do not add any water to this because the aloe vera gel and the tomato is going to produce its own liquid. So here we have our blended halo and tomato. And I'm going to give this a stir. Make sure there's no lumps. And I'm using a plastic spoon because you do not want to use a metal spoon in this because of the acid from the tomato. And this is good. Next, we're reaching for our turmeric powder. Now, if you have fresh turmeric, you could just take about an ounce of turmeric, scrape it, and blend it with the aloe and the tomato, okay? If not, and you have turmeric powder like I do, then you use the powder. So now I'm gonna take one teaspoon of turmeric powder, and I'm gonna add this to our tomato and our aloe, and now we're gonna just blend this. Just fold it in. So just keep mixing and this is exactly how you want it to be and here it is just blend and it's gonna be a little frothy that's okay that is perfect and this is exactly how you want it Now to store this, cover tightly like I just showed here or pour it in a jar with a tight cover, keep it in your refrigerator for about 7-10 to 10 days. Now this is ready and to apply this to your skin, you're going to use cotton pads to apply this to wherever you have hyperpigmentation. You can use this on your face, you can use this on your arms, your legs, just anywhere on your body, okay? So to use this, you just want to dip your cotton pads in. And this is also great for acne. If you have acne prone skin, this is good. If you have oily skin, this is good. This is just basically great for most skin type. So wherever you have your hyperpigmentation, you dip your cotton pad in and you're gonna just use it to apply it to the area. And just rub it all over the area. And once you do this, you're gonna leave it there on your skin for at least 30 minutes. The longer you wear it is the better. Now, if you can do this twice per day, that would be even better. If not, use this at least once per day, wear it for 30 minutes and over, and before you know it, you're gonna get rid of all that hyperpigmentation from your skin. Now, I'm also gonna show you how to use this on your face. Now, to use your spots and blemishes remover from your face, you're gonna take a cotton pad. You can also use a brush for this application application you're gonna dip it in the treatment and you're just gonna apply it to wherever you have your spots and blemishes or your acne scars just rub it over also while doing this if you have facial hair such as sideburn right here take it all the way there apply the treatment there so you just apply it there if you have hair on your face, this is also great for it. Now, once you apply it to your skin, you're gonna leave it there for at least 30 minutes. Keep it longer if you can, the longer the better. And then you're gonna rinse this off with some warm or cold water. It really doesn't matter. Now you're gonna use this on your face or on your body, as I said before, wherever you have your dark spots or your blemishes or your scars. And if you can use it every day, that's the best way to go for faster result. If not, you use it at least three to four times per week. Now, when you use it, always remember to leave it on your skin for at least 30 minutes. If you have severe hyperpigmentation, such as severe acne scars, you really and truly need to use this at least twice per day for faster result, okay? So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. Share the video, give it a thumbs up if you like it, and leave your comments. And if this was the first time watching, I know you want to see more of these videos. So look below, you're going to see the word subscribe. Just click on it and you will be subscribed. It is as simple as that. Now, if you want to know exactly when I post a video without having to search for my videos, then click the little bell beside it. That way, each time I upload a video, you will get a notification right away. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.